Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss simplification of a binomial by a trinomial. What that means is two terms by three terms. When you are simplifying these brackets, you will at all times remember that you are doing the distributive law. So you are following the rules of the distributive law. If you are not familiar with what I am talking about, please go to our previous videos. Now under the distributive law, we had emphasized that you had constantly used signs, numbers and unknowns, multiplication and later signs, numbers and unknowns, addition. Now when you have a binomial with a trinomial, you must have a system. If you don't have a system, you are going to be mixed up and you won't know what have I done, what have I not done. So what we do is, we are going to start with the A, draw our walls and then we are going to take the A and we are going to distribute it to every term in the second bracket, A times A squared which is equal to A cubed, then we have got A times negative AB which will equal to negative A squared B. Remember at all times we are using signs, numbers and unknowns multiplication. Then we have got A times B squared which will be positive AB squared. Now we have distributed the A to every term in the second bracket. Now we do the same thing with the B. We are going to say B times A squared which is equal to positive a squared b. Then we are going to say b times negative a b which is negative a b squared. And then the last one b times positive b squared which will equal to positive b cubed. Now after we have done signs, numbers, unknowns, multiplication, we need to look at what is the same, which terms are the same, a squared b and a squared b. When you are using unknowns, it is a good idea or it is in your best interest to always write it in order, in alphabetical order, meaning don't write b a, rather write a b. Because when you write it in alphabetical order, it is easier to see where they are the same. Now if I have got minus 1a squared b plus a squared b, it means I have got nothing, 0. I borrowed 1 ren, I paid 1 ren. If I have got 1ab squared minus 1ab squared, it is also 0. So your final answer is a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3. Now when you are doing binomials by trinomials, the answers are not always two terms. Sometimes they can be more complicated. Let's take a plus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now you will notice that the only difference between this question and the one that we have done above is that the middle term in the second bracket is a positive, whereas in the first one it was a negative. Now we are still going to do the distributive law, we are going to take each term from the first bracket and we are going to distribute it to every term in the second bracket. Or at all times, remembering we are using signs, numbers and unknowns, a cubed plus a squared b plus a b squared and then the bottom but now we are taking the second term a squared b plus 
AB squared plus B cubed. Now you will notice that even though we have similar terms, example A squared B and A squared B, it's not plus and minus, they are adding. So my final answer is A cubed Now, 1a squared b plus 1a squared b, it's like 1 apple plus 1 apple, is positive 2a squared b. When you are adding or subtracting, your unknowns do not change. Then we've got ab squared plus ab squared, which is equal to positive 2ab squared plus b cubed. So what you need to notice is that when you are doing the distributive law for cubes or trinomials with binomials, the answers do not need to have many terms. Sometimes it can be only two terms. Sometimes it can only be two terms. Sometimes it can be four terms. So as long as you use the distributive law and then you use your sign numbers and unknowns with multiplication, then your sign numbers and unknowns with addition, you will be able to group them accordingly. Thank you for watching this video.